I'm John, a support engineer with StrongDM. Today we're going to go over the Windows installation of StrongDM. First, we're going to open a web browser and navigate to strongdm.com slash docs. Next, on the left hand side, you'll see user guide, client installation, Windows installation guide. On this page, you'll see this link. You'll click it and it'll start the download. After the download is finished, we'll be able to execute it. After that installation is done, you'll see the client here in the system tray. Now, we'll click on it and enter our email. If you have single sign-on, this is where you'll be redirected to your login page or you'll be prompted for a password. Once authenticated, you'll see this page. Now we'll click on the client, and as you can see, StrongDM is installed and connected. Now we'll need to add it into our path. To do so, we'll go into our app data folder. Local SDM. From there, we'll go into the current app version. Resources and we're going to copy our SDM32. From here, we'll go to our local app data folder, Microsoft, Windows apps, we're gonna paste it here. Now we're gonna rename our file to SDM. Using either command prompt or Windows PowerShell, we can open it, and type in the command SDM dash dash version. We verified that our CLI is now installed. From here, we can verify that we can connect to a resource by opening the GUI, clicking on the resource, and this green lightning bolt will show up that you can connect. This port number is what you'll connect to on localhost. If you have any problems, make sure to contact us at support at strongdm.com. Thank you.